Hello guys and welcome back to this video. So this would be our fourth video in the series. If you guys haven't seen my past videos where I have deployed machine learning model in the form of APIs using fast API on Heroku, make sure you watch it. So in this video we'll be specific about how we can use API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. APIs let your product or service communicate with other products and services without having to know how they are implemented. See, most of the time no one would be using our API directly. Let's see this use case and understand this. So in this video, I have made a basic Android application which will be using my API which is there on Heroku. I will just give a brief about how our Android application works. And here our client is nothing but our Android application. I'll focus on important things. So without wasting much time, let's start the video. So this is nothing but my UI where I'll be taking inputs from the user. And these are nothing but my independent feature for models. And whenever the user clicks predict, all these values are given to my API and API tells my model to predict the output for us. And we get an output in form of JSON object. Now let's see what happens when the user clicks predict. Let's see the code for it. So this application is built in Java and I've used Wally library. Wally is an HTTP library that makes networking very easy and fast. And it was developed by Google. Now whenever the user clicks predict, a send data function is called. So here I've used HashMap. So what HashMap does is it sends data to the API in the form of key value pairs. Now if we see our API, you can see pregnancy is my key and this is my value. So we have to enter values in key value pairs and for this I am using hash map. Now in this I am passing the URL on which I have to work with. What this line makes sure is that we are making a new request every time. In this specific block of the code what I am doing is taking the inputs from the user. Then I am putting these values in my hash map which we have already declared before. Now if you are following my series we know that we are getting our answer in the form of JSON object. So I'm making a JSON object request on that API. And the what all parameters it takes is the first I'm making a post request. As you can see, I'm making a post request. I'm passing my JSON object. I'm passing this data to my JSON object. That is my API. Now in this specific line of code, what I'm doing is taking the value whose key is answer. Now if everything works well, we'll get our answer and if not, we'll get, oops, something went wrong. Okay, let's try this. So here is my application and on the side, I'll be opening the logs of my API. So these are nothing but my logs of my API. Okay, so I'll just enter the values randomly. And now I have entered my values and let's see what happens when we press the predict button. As you can see a request is made on that API and we got something on the toast. Now let's see what if we do it again. See we are getting a value you have been tested negative with 0.7 as probability. If I just do something else, now let's see what we get an output. Now I have entered some different values. Now let's see what we are getting. As you can see we got a new post request and now we got a positive results with a probability of 0.61 and now in this way you can create your own APIs and deploy it on Heroku. For this use case I took an Android application but you can have endless possibilities. So this was it for today's video guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope you have learned something new in this series and please make sure that you watch my previous videos. If you guys have any question or query do let us know down below in our comment section. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, bye bye.